Welcome to Sportsbook Review. I'm Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com, and we're going to take a look at two games too risky to bet. Now, as you know, at OffshoreInsiders.com, I've always warned against people who love to bet on road favorites. And a game that I think is way too risky to bet would be Arizona against Indianapolis. Remember, the NFL is a regression to the mean sport more than any other sport out there. So not surprisingly, going with big home underdogs off of a blowout loss is 77 and 45 against the spread. But conversely, there's an old saying about how teams improve the most from week one to week two. We did find that is really true as far as the number of snaps that a team had. The team that uh, had significantly fewer snaps in week one is actually a go against. They are 24 and 48 in uh, week two. So that angle would say go with Arizona. That based on the uh, snaps each team look uh, took last week, Arizona would be the sharper team. But they also have another angle, not surprisingly, that West Coast teams playing at 1 o'clock Eastern time were a pretty good go against at 158 and 118. And if you've been buying my picks at OffshoreInsiders.com over the years, you know Carson Palmer is one of my predictably unpredictable guys. Essentially, he will lose a lot of games that he will win. I heard uh, a sports talk show host in this area last week saying that Arizona was probably the biggest disappointment last year. Nobody would have thought they would have come up as short as they did last year. While I was raising my hand in the car, yes, I did. When you have Carson Palmer as your quarterback, you're going to lose a lot of games you should win. And then, um, you're, you're frankly, you know, occasionally you're gonna, even going to win some games that you should lose. So Carson Palmer in a game that's expected to be a blowout, expect the unexpected. Of course, Indianapolis, their quarterback situation is a little bit unclear. Scott Tolzien was awful, 9 out of 18, uh, two interceptions for touchdowns. Jacoby Brissett is the backup quarterback. He might wind up getting the start. He's only, though, in his entire career thrown uh, 58 passes. 36 of them have been complete, but he would give a new look and maybe give Indianapolis a little bit of a bump. But I would say Arizona and Indianapolis, too much uh, arguments you can make for either team. That is certainly uh, a game too risky to bet. Another game I would say is probably too risky to bet. The Jets and Oakland. We do know that the Jets are the worst team in the NFL. Uh, not too many people would dispute that, but we saw uh, yesterday, or we saw on Sunday, that they're a very resilient team. They're actually pretty good defensively. And when they are getting anywhere from 13 and a half, uh, most places at sbrodds.com, but even some places it's 14, and uh, I see you can get them at 14, laying only 20 cent juice. So the, the Jets, I think, have a good enough defense to stay competitive. But then again, they don't have much of an offense. And now Oakland, with Carr completely healthy, they look like they're clicking on all cylinders. And you can see that the Raiders might even have a little motivation to pile the points on with uh, their franchise quarterback coming back from an injury and making a statement that, uh, that they are back. And I, I also see at SBRodds.com that Oakland, in some areas, opened up as only a nine-point favorite. So obviously, the public going crazy on the Raiders. But because of the uh, line move there and because the Jets' defense is pretty darn competitive, I would say that is a game too risky to bet. We'll talk about games too risky to bet uh, next week on sportsbookreview.com. Uh, and of course, I'm Joe Duffy from offshoreinsiders.com coming off a 5-0 and sweep in the NFL. Visit me for this week's picks at OffshoreInsiders.com. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry-leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.